can you miss, please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Thank you. You can go ahead and be seated. And when you're seated, please tell us your full name and spell your last name. Victoria Gonzalez, G-O-N-Z-A-L-E-Z. -E Good afternoon, Ms. Gonzalez. Hello. Are you the girlfriend of Joaquin Oliver? It's a little complicated to answer that because I was not labeled the girlfriend until the day he died. Um, I'll give you the label that we gave each other was always soulmate. That was my partner. Yeah. Have you prepared a statement I have. For to be read in court today? I have. Can you read it for us, please? Yes. gonna do it. <laughs> Joaquin Oliver. A name etched into the depths of my soul. When I met Joaquin, my life was instantly shape-shifted, transformed into wonder. I remember having visions of beings birthed from stars and questioning my belief completely of life. He taught me magic. Joaquin was magic, personified. Love personified. He stepped into a room and the entirety of vibration would heighten. In an instant, those around him felt more comfortable in their own skin. He radiated a light so deeply contagious. Just one look into his eyes and it's like you knew you were home on this planet. Joaquin loved to make people smile. He loved to dance down the hallways at school with his headphones on and the wires dangling alongside him. He loved to sit in my passenger seat and sing his heart out. From the Beatles, Cher, Madonna, Led Zeppelin to Frank Ocean, Playboy Cardi and Drake. He embraced music, art, cultures of all kind. He was simply just happy to be human. His mere presence wrote his story. You could feel his dedication for love in the air surrounding him. He worked so hard to fulfill each day. He worked so hard in class. All he wanted was to graduate and make his family proud. He wanted to travel and run away with me to Paris. We loved the movie theater. Those employees saw the two of us walking hand in hand multiple times a week. Popcorn, root beer, and cookie dough bites in the hands that were free. Same order, every single time. That Valentine's Day of 2018, I will never forget. We had tickets to IPIC that night, yet another movie date to celebrate the authentic love we shared. Nothing extra or extravagant. Our gifts to each other being ourselves. And of course, the stuffed elephants and yellow chrysanthemums I won't forget the sight of in his grip atop his bouncing knees as he sat at the bus loop bench that morning, anxiously awaiting my arrival. I remember wondering if amongst the chaos later that day, we would still have a quiet night together at the theater. I lost myself that day. I lost my soulmate in the flesh. I lost the voice that filled the atmosphere of my car. It's so quiet now. I lost the friend who understood me most. I lost the excitement to watch him grow up. I lost innocence. I lost purity. I lost the love letters he was writing for me in that fourth period creative writing class. I never actually received them. They were pinned to his shirt. I miss my 
best friend. And the way he made me feel full. I miss the laughter from his lips and the glimmer in his eyes. I miss the light that once lived in me. I see Joaquin in every blade of grass. I feel Joaquin in every ray of sunshine. I won't ever lose the lessons of love he instilled in my being. I thank Joaquin every single day for being himself and giving others the space and permission to be themselves. Joaquin is love. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Gonzalez. Nothing for it. Thank you, Miss. Thank you. Mrs. Kelly Petty.